Lily. How are you doing? Hi, uh, Jack, is it? Yes, it is. Hi, how's things? This is uh, Rain from Oceans Against Fascism. Uh, would you have a few minutes to talk? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so who we are and what we do, um, as the name tells, we're an anti-fascist organisation, mainly based mm-hmm. on campuses north and south, mainly based mm-hmm. above sort of left Republicans and other left activists, and our mm-hmm. plan and what we are currently doing is documenting the fire right on campus and elsewhere and making mm-hmm. them known to their employers and generally just building a sort of network of activists both in NGOs, in student societies, in student politics and journalism and just, you know, nipping it in the bud. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, so that would be something that would obviously interest you, or...? What did you say? That would, that would, you'd obviously be interested in giving us a hand, or...? Yeah, definitely. Cool, yeah, yeah. cool. Definitely. Cool. Uh, yeah, so it's just comedian. What's, what's actually your full name? Is it Shay O'Hayden or? Uh, Shay O'Hayden. Shay O'Hayden. Oh, okay, grand. Yeah, yeah. And you're you're involved sort of student politics in Trinity, are you? Or? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm involved in student politics in Trinity. I used to be involved um, in politics outside uh, with PVP, but now I'm more of an unaligned political activist in Trinity. Okay, that's good. And is it your ethnic and minor, minorities officer in the SUD? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously you're 100% behind us. You're not going to flag out. You know, we're just sending out people yeah. ideologically. Okay, great. So you're okay with doxing. You're okay with, you know, obviously, obviously it doesn't come to us potentially getting physical with people. You're obviously... Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so tell me a bit more about the sort of role you hold in the SU. Um, so I'm the ethnic minorities officer. So uh, basically, it's basically just dealing with racist incidents, um, like incidents of racism. Um, the roles kind of uh, kind of a make it yourself role. Uh, there's no real set guidelines. Uh, it's just running like a refugee week and running an anti-apartheid week. Um, but the actual role that I uh, fill is if there's any like instance of racism that are reported mm-hmm. to the student union and the person who deals with that um, and also it's kind of like building up a rapport with other the other ethnic minorities on campus and other left uh, left leftist activists on campus to kind of keep a like I wouldn't say a list but like as in know people who are like flagged as being a problem okay. um, and kind of keeping that up so uh, would you have yeah. that list handy or would you be able to pass it on to us just uh, we have a few Obviously, you probably know Jacob Wolf. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's he's helping us as well. If uh, but yeah, yeah. any any, would you have a few names off the top of your head? Or uh, uh, well, I mean, um, the thing is, there's there's a few that are like involved with fascism. Like obviously, the people who um, all of the people who are involved in the Birkin, um mm-hmm. the well, the Birkin was a, a right wing fascist journal mm-hmm. uh, that kind of promoted ethno states. Uh, so obviously, all of their people. Mm-hmm. Um, they were involved with that. There was also a, a Twitter account that was run last year during the election campaign called Aryan Trinity. Mm-hmm. Um, that was run by a first year, and oh, I can't remember his name at the moment, but um, what's called, I can uh, send you on yeah. those details. I don't think he's anything, done anything fascist since then, but uh, just kind of like putting sure. an eye on him yeah. uh, is what I've been doing. Um, then there's also uh, who's been kind of known for... Uh, He's, like, made comments in the past about various, like, mainly, like, black students and, like, slavery comments and fascist comments in mm-hmm. that kind of way. Um, and he's also kind of, like, politically organizing with, I think, Fina Gale, if I remember correctly. Yes, just around it then. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, cool. I can't remember. Is there any more? Um, I'd probably give you a more, like, solid list, like... It, to be honest, the, per- the people who are better at keeping notes on this are uh, Jacob's really good at keeping notes on that. Um, he's great at like keeping up receipts, whereas I'm more just I'm the person who actually has to deal with the things, and then other people take the uh, take down info afterwards. Um, I'm kind of shy of remembering names. No, but, um, so I, nice. if you if you want to message them on uh, afterwards, sure. uh, so you have to yeah, call. Yeah. Um, just yeah. just uh, beyond that, would there any be? Uh, would there be more sympathetic people on council, or...? I'm uh, fascist people on council. Um, who would be good? Have you chatted to... Uh, yes, actually we're in contact, but yeah, if you yeah. want to... We haven't... Uh, he's a bit quiet on the Twitter, so... Uh, yeah, we, we'd love to actually have a call, phone call with him. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll have a chat. Would... Yeah. Obviously there's probably more sort of uh, crafting, uh, sort of like student policy, but would you be able to put us in contact with Lara Beston, or...? 
or just like tell um, Sure, I'll what's called I'll what I'll do is once uh, college comes back, I'll have some kind of I'll have a few discreet kind of conversations with people yeah. and kind of get people uh, if, get in contact um, with you. Yeah, just um, we we actually have her number, uh, but if you want to just tell her just discreetly that you can find us over the t- Twitter because there's a certain project we want to actually talk to her about. That's probably sure. uh, just ready regarding to the far right of campus. Um, okay. Yeah, so any more, uh, so obviously the names, we can be okay if we use that to sort of, uh, you know, if they have employers, uh, you know, approach them or whatever, to see I think we were mm-hmm. talking. Cool. Um, yeah, if you want yeah. to send those names. Um, yeah, so is there any more sort of use uh, that your office can uh, provide with it for us? Or? Um, well, we are, we have a record of all of the, like, any, um, like far right or racist incidents that happen, they usually happen during campaign season, which is coming up at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm running an ethnic minority caucus just after the break, uh, where we're going to be talking about different things that have happened. So that'll be a good kind of uh, time to like take down incidents and people that have been a problem. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I can yeah. provide for you. If I get any more info, then of course yeah. I'll send it on. Um, yeah, if we give you an email and you can send sort of discreetly any sort of information you have, obviously we want this to be as discreet as possible for your sake and our sake. Sure. Um, my email is... Actually, yeah, I'll send you our email and in your own time if you want to... Cool. cool. That's perfect. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so any any like minds, obviously we want to... There's a particular project we want to contact best in with. Obviously we can do the things you guys can't. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. you're, you're 100% behind us with regarding anti fascism mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, any... Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Send on names and we'll pass on our details and we'll have a few projects uh, to approach you guys with in this sort of, uh, you know, hopefully when college gets back. But yeah, pleasure, mm-hmm. pleasure to talk to you. Yep. Yeah, okay, it's on. Okay. Right. Okay. All right, thanks.